The weather around us seems to always be changing. This isn't necessarily the case for everyone around the planet. The air in our atmosphere is constantly circulating, and the way it circulates will affect our weather and climate. The atmosphere is a complex mass of swirling gases, liquids and solids. Global atmospheric circulation involves air moving in large cells. They're called the polar cells, feral cells and Hadley cells. These cells meet at areas of either low or high pressure, depending on the movement of the air. Where air is sinking at places like the North or South Pole, pressure is high and ground winds move away from the area. Mid to high latitudes, like the UK at around 55 degrees north, are close to the boundary between subtropical air from the south and polar air to the north. The rising air will cool and condense to create clouds at this unstable boundary. With warm, wet air from the southwest, cold polar air to the north, the UK will experience a variety of weather conditions. Hot deserts are found around 30 degrees of latitude where air is sinking, creating high pressure. This high pressure means that clouds can't form, meaning no shade or rain in these arid areas. Rising air, like at the equator, creates low pressure so ground winds move in towards these areas. With the sun directly overhead, equatorial regions are hot and humid with high rainfall coming from cloudy skies. This heat and moisture helps to create the tropical rainforests. Ground winds don't usually move in a straight line. The Earth's rotation will curve them through the Coriolis effect. Surface winds are important in transferring heat and moisture, whilst the seasonal changes will move pressure belts north during the summer and south during the winter. These global atmospheric circulation cells are instrumental in driving the world's weather, helping to generate hurricanes and bringing destruction across the planet.